The only snag, it's winter out there. Must be mighty cold down under. The arrival of the President's plane, Columbine, at St. Hubert Air Station, Montreal, opens the story of an historic day. Her Majesty, with Prince Philip, was there as Queen of Canada to welcome President Eisenhower. The very friendly greetings were followed by airport ceremonial before Her Majesty and the President drove off together. The occasion was unprecedented, a peacetime combined operation. The official opening of what is probably the greatest engineering feat of modern times. Compared with such a tremendous undertaking, the ceremony was simple. The Queen referred to the Seaway as a monument to the enduring friendship of Canada and the United States. President Eisenhower spoke of the friendship of Americans for the people of Canada. Both spoke in French as well as English. Then, to board Britannia, Prince Philip escorting Mrs. Eisenhower to the royal yacht. The Queen and the President were now to complete the opening ceremony. Escorted by destroyers, Britannia began her passage through the St. Lambert Lock, symbolic gateway to the heart of the North American continent. It was the beginning of a five-hour voyage on through the St. Lawrence Seaway, a voyage that marked the realization of a project that had been little more than a dream for half a century. This was the climax of the work and planning that had built the Seaway, which, together with the hydroelectric scheme, had cost over 350 million pounds. A day on which history was made by Canada and the United States together.